now pushing for bonuses instead of a living wage for our teachers and our custodians so they can live in the state that they love. Thousands of teachers and school staff from all across the state marched in Tallahassee to fight for schools. Thanks for joining us here on 10 News. I'm Katie McCall. And I'm Carolina Lead. In for Allison tonight. Teachers are demanding less testing for students, better facilities, and they are emphasizing the need for better pay. So tonight, some of the biggest problems uh, representation came from one of Florida's biggest school districts. That's Polk County. So ahead of the rally, of course, we have that the school district announced more than a thousand employees weren't going to be in school today. Those who couldn't make it to the state capitol are joining a rally right now in Lakeland. 10 News reporter Phil Buck is there live. Phil, why do they feel like this is a battle that they need to fight now? Well, I mean, be, because they say they're not being compensated fairly and it's been far too long since the state uh, legislature has really brought them into what they feel should be a competitive fair wage for teachers in one of the biggest states population wise in the country. Now there was a huge turnout here in downtown Lakeland for this show of solidarity support rally just a few minutes ago. They have since taken to the streets and they're walking around. We expect them to come back here in just a little bit. And also the school district Polk schools tweeted out earlier today a thank you to all of the district employees who did show up to work today in order to make school safe and, and have enough teachers to teach the kids uh, you know who were here in class but when you start looking into how the state of Florida has addressed the issue of teacher salaries over the last 20 or so years it's easy to understand why these teachers are so fed up red for red support education people all over the state wore red in solidarity with teachers on Monday Florida ranks among the worst states in the country for teacher salaries and now those educators are demanding that state leaders fix it our students deserve to have quality professionals teaching them. Our pay system is not attracting high quality teachers. According to data from the National Education Association, Vermont, which ranks 15th nationally, is almost right on the national average for teacher pay. Florida, on the other hand, ranks 46th with an average teacher salary of just over $48,000, more than $12,000 below the national average. And it starts right out of the gate. The average starting salary for Florida teachers is $37,636. The national average starting salary for teachers is more than $39,000, which leaves Florida public school teachers more than $1,600 below the national average. Governor Ron DeSantis says he wants to raise the state's minimum salary for teachers by 26%, but teachers who have already paid their dues say it's insulting. Oh, it hurts. It hurts. I mean, you can't get competitive teachers. I'm also a parent of uh, five children, um, and it's just hard. It's hard to see what teaching in Florida has become. You know, the governor has other doubters in Tallahassee who also are saying that they're not sure whether or not that huge raise in starting teacher pay is going to be feasible. Namely, the House Speaker and the Senate President have both come out and said they're not sure that there's enough money in the state budget to pay for that. We reached out to several local county school districts about today's rally. Hillsborough says about 75 teachers also rode up to Tallahassee today from there. But that county, along with several others, including Polk, told us there were enough substitutes to cover classes today and that the rally did not affect the normal school schedule. Over the weekend, tensions escalated when Polk County sent a letter from the Department of Education to staff about what could happen if they walked out of school. District leaders said it was not intended to be a threat. We have reached out to them to see if anyone will face penalties, but we're waiting to hear back. We'll let you know what they say.